And we're back with the answer to today's biz quiz. On average, how often do cyber hacks occur? The answer, every minute. Research by the University of Maryland shows hack attacks happen every 39 seconds, and the problem is getting worse. A 2018 report reveals cyber thieves stole half a billion personal records. That's more than double the amount from 2017. Experts say by 2021, global spending on cybersecurity will reach nearly $6 trillion. Well, as the digital age becomes more complex, the need for security is in high demand. The tech industry is one of the fastest growing job sectors, and it's dominated by mostly men. But Extreme Solutions is changing that. Owned and operated by Phyllis Newhouse, the company specializes in a range of services, from IT business consulting to forensic analysis. Newhouse is a pioneer in her own right. After serving in the U.S. Army, she forged a new path as an entrepreneur. She takes the lessons she learned and shares them with other women business owners, empowering them to achieve career success. Her effort to give back even launched a movement that gained the attention of an award-winning actress. Newhouse proves success is, a, is merely a mindset, as you'll see in today's executive profile. So you were born in North Carolina. Yes, I was born in Charlotte, North Carolina, and um, I'm from a family of 11. 11, where do you it, fall in the 11? I am number 10. What was the first job? Did you have a job as a kid? Were you, were you working when you were young? Yeah, or? we all worked from home. Yeah. yeah, with 11 kids. Right. My dad had, and my mom, we, uh, you know, we, we learned the love of labor at a young age. So my first job when I got, I was in high school, I went to work at a department store. And I think too, just something so small as working in a department store uh, really shaped a lot of me understanding business and understanding really what some of the opportunities could be in the possibilities. What about your mom has been, been, made her a role model for you? You know, when I looked at my mom, I looked at an amazing woman that had 11 children and raised eight of her siblings. That takes extraordinary leadership. I went and ended up in the military, and during my military career, I would always go back to some of those very core values that I learned at home, watching my mom's, you know, how does she develop all of us working together as a team and respecting the differences that we had. How did the military find you? How did you find the military? What was the thinking going on for you? You were in high school, I assume, at the time. One of my oldest sisters had um, gone into the Air Force. Mm -hmm. And so one uh, summer, I had the opportunity to visit her on a military installation. And you know what, it was, it was such a defining moment for me. I walked on that base and I saw so many women and I thought, wow, these women are leaders. How, you know, this is, this is exciting. That right there motivated me to, to really want to be in the military because I saw myself as becoming a great leader. When I went into the military my first year, I, and I said, wow, there are some good leaders. And I said, and there are some great leaders. I want to be a great leader. And so for me, I took every moment, every opportunity that I had to become a great leader. Clearly the experiences you had in the military helped establish your foundation for Extreme Solutions. So I, you know, right around 20, 19, 20 years, I knew that I was gonna get out and I knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I looked at uh, being an entrepreneur, uh, being a mission. And so if you come from the military background and you're mission focused, your goal is to accomplish that mission. And I think for me, I always tell a lot of entrepreneurs is that, you know, you can think about success or you can go do success. Right. And that, that to me is a mission focused attitude. You start the Extreme Solutions on day one. How long before you knew you had a really good, viable business that was gonna be a success? I drew this company out on the board. The moment that I, that I looked at that vision board and I saw this is the type of organization you're gonna have, these are the type of people that you want to work, this is who your customers are gonna be. And when I did that, I did not doubt one moment that the company would not be successful because I had, in my mind, I had already seen it and I knew what the possibilities were and, that's, that was, and failure was just not an option. I'm gonna to pivot to talking about a woman named Viola Davis the actress. You and she have started something very special together. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about what you have going on with Viola Davis. Yeah, I was up for Entrepreneur of the Year for the United States uh, for technology. Mm -hmm. It just so happened Viola was the keynote speaker um, uh, for this event and they had set up this luncheon for me to meet with her. So I walk into the room and I say, Viola, 
how are you? Give me the biggest hug in the world. She goes, okay. And so she goes, I think we're going to be friends. And so she said, I'm an entrepreneur, but I'm not where you are. And she said, I like to learn from you and I like to stay in touch. So fast forward, uh, three months later, I was sitting in her living room at the dining room table mm -hmm. and she began to tell me about her business. And I said, well, have you thought about this? Have you thought about this? And she turned to me and she said, you know what, Phyllis? She said, there are very few women who would take the time at the level that you've grown and come back and spend this much time nurturing someone else to help them. She said, it just doesn't happen in Hollywood. And I said, well, this is what we do as entrepreneurs. We, we build each other up. We decided that we wanted to launch a movement called Shoulder Up. And this is where we believe that when you have economic power and you have a voice, you have a responsibility to use that to go and create change where it impacts the lives of other people, and particularly in women. So we launched Shoulder Up about two years ago, and now we're having Shoulder Up groups all over the country and outside the United States. In terms of Extreme Solutions, where do you want to see the company go? I'd like to see the company have, a, have several cyber academies around the country where we're bringing up the next generation of you know, um, folks in the cyberspace, because I just think that we're, we're right now we have um, some very complicated um, technologies that are out there w which can be used for good but can also do a lot of damage and getting people to understand the seriousness of our national security as it pertains to cyber I think we've got to we've got to start priming and and getting the the next generation um, really ahead not just on cutting edge technology but understanding the real risk that we face uh, as it pertains to cyber. So I'd like to see Extreme Solutions um, really be the educator in the future. We're educating, we're building a workforce that doesn't exist. For the past six years, the Women Presidents Organization has named Extreme Solutions one of the 50 fastest growing women owned and led companies in the United States. This year, Newhouse was elected to the board of the Technology Association of Georgia and inducted into the Enterprising Women Hall of Fame.